Hello, welcome to Excel Tips by the HR Diary. Today, I'm going to show you how to use Excel slices. Excel slicer works like a filter. Slices help you to filter out the required information from the large repository of data and present them in an easy to read and appealing format. Due to their visual qualities, slices are often used in interactive dashboards. For example, if you have a data table containing various countries, you can create a slicer that only displays the record where the country is, for example, US only or Japan only. Here I have a data table containing the sales of various countries. So these are the sales numbers. To use slices, you need to first format your this data into an official Excel table. To do so, click anywhere inside this table and then press Ctrl T on your keyboard. So when you press Ctrl T on your keyboard, you will see the Create Table dialog box. Make sure that you select your data, including the headers. Because I've selected my headers as well, make sure that you tell Excel that my table has headers by making sure that this is tick and then click on the OK. Next, go to the table design menu. All right, go to the table styles. Click onto this and select. I want to select clear because I want to remove all these colors. So we are start select clear to clear the table format. I also want to remove the filters here. So to remove it, go to this table design filter button and untick it, untick it. Next, in this table design menu, you will see the insert slicer. Click onto it and you will see this insert slices dialog box appear. This data table contains the sales of various countries. I want to create a slicer that only displays the record of certain countries. All right. So to do that, that means I only want the a slicer for country. So I will take onto the country because I want to create a slicer where I can select countries. So take onto country and click OK. So this is your slicer, your country slicer. So you can drag this to adjust the size of your box. You can scroll to see the countries. You can increase the columns. Now I only have one column by going to the slicer menu and changing the columns to two or three so that I can see all the countries without having to scroll. So I want it in two columns and let's adjust it. So I have my slicer here. Next, I want to make a chart for this whole table. To do this, click anywhere inside the table and then go to insert and insert, click onto the insert here and select this. So here you can see, here is my bar chart. And the bar chart are displayed by countries followed by months. These are the months from January to December. So the months are within the country. All right. Next, double click on the chart. And this will open up the, if, if you double click this, all right, go to here and double click. And you will see the format chart area. All right. Then here, with this format chart area, click onto this and click onto properties. 
and select don't move or size with cells. This will stop the bar chart, this chart from moving around or disappearing when the slicer is used. So after taking this, let's close this. All right, select this chart again, and you can start choosing one of the slices. All right, now the chart shows all the countries. So if I were to choose Australia, you can see that only Australia sales from January to December is shown. Only Australia is shown here on the table as well as on the chart. That is because slices act like a filter for the table. So if this only shows one row, the chart also only shows one row. This Excel chart is linked to this table. And Excel only shows the visible values. So if I were to pick China, this changes to China. And if I only pick Egypt, this changes to Egypt. You can select multiple countries at the same time by holding down control at your keyboard and then selecting them. So if I hold control at my keyboard and select Japan, you will see Egypt and Japan. And I hold down my keyboard and select Singapore. You will see at the table, Egypt, Japan, and Singapore at the table as well as at the chart. So you can deselect them by pressing control on your keyboard and clicking on the same country. So if I press control on my keyboard and click onto Singapore, you will see Singapore disappears. To clear all the filters, you can use the clear filter here and that will bring all the countries back. So if I were to click on this, you will see all the countries are back. Next, here is the multi-select option, which allows you to select or deselect multiple countries at the same time without having to hold down control at your keyboard. To deselect a country, you just have to click onto it again. So let's click onto this multi-select. Multi now I don't need to press control on my keyboard. I just pick it here, Australia, and it disappears. And if I press China, China disappears. So if I want to add it back, I just need to click onto it again. And China appears and click on it, it again, and Australia appears. Okay, so in this video, I have shown you how to use Excel slices to make a dynamic chart. That's it. Thanks for watching Excel Tricks by the HR Diary. If you are not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you will get notified about similar videos that we upload. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the HR Diary channel. Bye.